this I never settle for less If I'm broke, I can't risk A hustler in the flesh And I'm smoking What's going on, YouTube family? It's your boy Slim Jizz, a.k.a. Um, well, I'm Ken, by the way I uh, just want to make this video real quick um, It ain't going to be long But um, it's the recap of the um, Cowboys versus uh, Buccaneers game on Sunday Um... You know, it was pretty pretty disappointing uh, win for the Cowboys. Um, went to impress other than the defense. You know, the defense did do their job. They did held, you know, the Buccaneers to like just seven points for like pretty much the majority of the game. Uh, you know, that first touchdown they gave up out the Romo through the pick. Um, one thing I got to say about the game is the offensive line got to step up big time. Offensive line slacking, Doug freaking pushed around, too many false start penalties, especially with Jason Witten. He had like about like three or four or something like that on Sunday. Um, you know, just, just they not pushing any of the defenses back. The last two games, the offensive line has just been just fluctured, just fluttered. I mean, just it's a travesty, man. I mean, it's a tragic thing to see an offensive line the way they are right now and you got all those weapons on offense um that's one thing that's got to get cleared up also to um the the worst injury that we could ever had this past sunday was the barry church injury that right there ladies and gentlemen you know it's it's it's, it's a huge loss for us, I know, because not only since the ball is out for like the next probably like two, three weeks with a quad injury, but you know, Barry Church is out with a rupture Achilles tendon, so he's going to need a lot, you know, a lot of recovery time and, and try to get back in football shape. And I mean, he just made the starting role, and, and three games into the season, we lost him. So it just. You know, we, it's kind of like crossroads for us as a, you know, as the Cowboys. So, but um, we do have young guys that really stepped up in camp. So hopefully, you know, they they will fill the void, just fill in from what you know what Church you know done, and from what I'm hearing, you know Barry Church. I mean not Barry Church. Uh, Brandon Carr will be playing some free safety. Um, so he will be able to roam around and still kind of play a little corner, but they're going to put Jenkins at at the corner cornerback position because he's the only one that's really – that know how to play the position, really. So, I mean, basically the center – I mean, basically the safety position, the free safety position is you're free to roam around. So it's like you're playing outfield, you know. You're just free to roam around. And you got all this space. So wherever that's in your space, you got to make sure that's shut down. So that's your job. So unlike the strong safety, where the strong safety can come up and, and play either the tight end or he can pick up the line, uh, the running back that comes out of the backfield, depending on if they got a, a, a two running backs or if they got a two tight end formation or whatever, then one of the, one of the safeties have to pick up on them. So... Um, but free safety more than anything, that's that's pretty much a huge thing for us. But but the defense looking pretty good. Um, you know, yeah, I, I know, you know, we got the crap beat out of us by Seattle um you know, last weekend, stuff like that, or you know, whatever. Um our defense played pretty good in that game. I mean they were shutting down Marshawn Lynch the whole game until Maybe we through the third quarter where, you know, we couldn't get off the field. So, I mean, it was just penalties left and right. Uh, we, you know, it just it, it just it was just a big mix-up in that game. So, offense couldn't move the ball because the offensive line wasn't able to really push those defenders back like they should. But um, I think it's going to be a little bit different when it comes to bear games this bear game that's coming um, on Monday, I'm sure that they're going to tighten up some some, some things. Uh, they got to get Jay Ratliff back in the lineup. Also with Keon Coleman, Keon Coleman and and um, 
we just signed Mario Butler off the practice uh, squad. So um, I'm sure he's going to be with the roster for the rest of the season. Um, he looked pretty good in the game against the Buccaneers. You know, he played some, you know, he played some slot, you know, um, cornerback, some that uh, Landis Kansas would play, normally play now, but um, done pretty good. So, um, but you ladies and fellas know that without, you know, a defense wins games. They win championships, period. But also, too, you got to remember, the offense, the offense, the offense, that's including the offensive line, the wide receivers, the, you know, that's including tight ends, running backs, fullbacks, quarterbacks. They got to pull their weight. Nothing against Romo. Romo, ha- Romo has done everything he possibly can. And, you know, you can't blame the guy. He's done wherever he can. He's running for his life. So, you know, he he is a mobile quarterback. At least he's able to really move around to where he won't get killed as much. But, you know, on Sunday he did take some some serious blows, especially to the head, especially by Jerry McCoy, which a call that was not called. Pretty, you know, ticked off about it, but, you know, it's already done. So, um but I will make a uh, a Bears video. Um, that's the games that that's the game that we are playing um, on Monday. I'm not sure what day I'm gonna make it, but I'm sure that it'll be done hopefully by Saturday. So um, just trying to make sure I get everything as accurate as possible, and and um, that's pretty much it. Um, other than that, you know, good 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 game out of defense. Offense was crappy, so offense got to straighten it up. But also, I would like to talk about, while we're on the subject of, you know, the NFL, um, I want to talk about the game between the Seahawks and, and the Packers. Um, you know, to me, the everybody's seen the game, I'm sure. 80, 80%, more than 80% of the country did. So, um, and Twitter and Facebook were just blown up with a bunch of, you know, crap about, you know, the, the referees, you know, the replacements they need to go ahead and deal with, you know, get the deal done with the regular referees. To me, these referees needs to go straight up. Goodell, if you're watching this or whoever, whoever that's in the NFL office, whoever, I don't care. That got to be resolved ASAP. That's been seven season-ending season injuries that happened pretty much on Sunday alone. Season-ending. So, I understand injuries happens for a reason, but it's been too many of them. Because you got players, you got coaches that's taking full advantage of these players from refs. They cheat shotting other players. They're they're, you know, getting in the refs face. They up here doing this and that, whatever and stuff like that. It's out of control. They gotta handle it. They need to handle the situation ASAP. NFL itself is under the uh, under the scrutiny, and I don't know if the NFL realizes this. But because of that bounty program, y'all try to clean up the game. But with these replacement refs and the way they're handling the game, it's not making you guys look really good at all right now. So need to need to straighten it up quick. So that's all I got. Um, shout outs, of course. Um, I was in Whittier, California, with my my uh, fan club, SoCal Dallas Cowboy fan club. My boy, uh, the Prez, uh, Lewis, and Vice Prez, uh, Robert. Uh, Wildcat was there. Um, um, my boy Kino, JC, my boy uh, Galvin, um, you know Renee, everybody that was there. Um, you know it was a great time. My boy Taz and his and his and his lady, the E lady, um, was you know we was all there representing you know with class and everything. We kept it civil and and everything was good and stuff. So and also I want to give a shout out to the NFL girl Tina. Um, Lala, um, you know, just pretty much, um, all the, all the, the fan clusters around the, around the country and stuff. So, um, just everybody much love to y'all. Much love to the haters, of course, you know, that's all good. But hey, you know, like I said, the refs got to get that, you know, they got to get that stuff resolved and stuff. So that's all I got. I'll holler at y'all later. Uh, hopefully I'll see y'all in a couple of days. Take care. No.